highlight active filters in the catalog. This, uh, from, from now on, the catalog will uh, show the filters, the active filters are highlighted. And, and this way we can make it easier for users to refine the search. Without this feature, when you, when you had a, a lot of options in a filter, it was not easy to figure out uh, which filters were uh, uh, were uh, active. So we did, in a way, a nice, a nice tax, I think. Um, we also customized, uh, added an option to customize and hide labels in the catalog. This is really needed because it, it really empowers the admins to customize and completely hide the labels some field for the field some filters anywhere so they can decide that for instance the summary in the catalog it doesn't have this summary word um, as a prefix or uh, they might want to add something to this field or to other fields and with this they can fully customize their their labels and this option is available everywhere in the compact view in the detail view of the catalog and also in the filters so you know Amist are like bosses. So uh, we can also create now we added an option to create a new courses from program management. This is uh, actually something coming from from Marie who noticed that um, this wasn't uh, possible in the workplace demo side. And that's something that we as users, uh, we uh, as you know, developers and um, pro people, we didn't notice the program was something that we that, that we decided at the very beginning is a feature that is mostly for I mean, the, the program management. So we never did this user testing with this feature. So this was like an ad hoc user testing. So now it is possible to create new empty courses from the program uh, page. So uh, HR um, L and D managers, they don't need to uh go anywhere else to create a program they can just create placeholders for all the courses and then they can just hand it over to the editing teacher so they populate the course the content of those courses everything from the program management uh, ui um so they can create once they click on the selector they can they, they will just see this model with the very um with the only required field this is similar to the course request feature in the back end and this is just simple. So, uh, and we did the same with users on the people tab. So we did the same improvement for HR managers. So we added an option to register new users in the system and assign jobs to them from the same place in two consecutive actions. This is very similar to how Jira works when you create a ticket and after that you can open the ticket and edit it. And this simplifies uh, a lot the onboarding in WordPress for HR managers. Uh, this thing is an integration review but it's going to land today so the screenshots are taken from the prototype so you can see that i can add uh i have this drop down in the button where i can add any users i will see uh other forms same model that we have in other places but without the tenant selector and once the user he has been added i don't know if you can notice but this this blue notice with a link to the user so you can click on the link and get directly to the people uh, to the uh, jobs and reporting lines page for that user, where you can add jobs for this user, or you can add managers or people reporting to them. Everything in two consecutive actions to create uh, this user. And this is very easy for admins, for an HR managers. 